Hi, my name is Rose Saban and welcome to this month's Student Health 101 video. As the new semester is in full swing, we wanted to remind students of the services that are available to them in order for them to succeed in the new year. To do so, we went around campus to ask students how much they knew about the services that the library provides. Let's see what they said. What are some services that the library provides? Um, they provide, uh, well, books to study off of, uh, like, they offer spaces to study. They have the math lab, the writing center, and um, f um, printers, 10 cents a page. So we have the writing center and the math center, uh, which are both offer tutoring in their respective you know, names. Um, there's the computers that are offered throughout the library, mostly on the third floor and first floor. Um, there's obviously all the books, which are great. Um, there's a lot of online services, like the we have subscriptions to EBSCOhost that are available. The library houses a tutoring center and a writing center on the top floor. These centers are available for students to use free of charge to help those that are struggling in a certain subject or just need to brush up on their writing skills. Have you used the tutoring or writing centers before for help in a class? I went once. I went to go see if someone could help me learn how to do APA citations. And it helped, but then my teacher still didn't really like it. But, you know, I went. It was cool. I had to sign in and stuff. I used it when I was a student. Well, when I was in my math classes, I used it for Calculus 1, Calculus 2, and Calculus 3. And I work there, and I help other students doing whatever classes they need help with, from lower-level math all the way to upper level and all the physics. The Writing Center, some teachers require you use there for some extra credit or for some papers. Um, I've used it a few times. Uh, it's good to get an idea. I use it on my UC application, so my UC essays. Where would you go if you needed to print out or work on an assignment? Probably the second floor. Um, most people, a lot of people go to the first floor, but I find that to be too unsettlingly quiet. You know, it's just not for everyone, but I know a lot of people who go there and, and it's, it works for them. But I prefer the second floor. We have printers up here. Um, we have one printer up on the third floor and we have four printers down on the lower floors. I would go to the bottom floor. Um, I, I have a system where I hang out with friends on the third floor and sometimes get math help. Uh, second floor, I kind of take a nap and relax. And then bottom floor, I do my studying and work. The bottom floor of the library contains a computer lab where students can go to work on their assignments. There are also multiple printing kiosks where students can print out assignments for 10 cents a page with the use of a credit or debit card. How do you usually access your class's textbook? Uh, we have textbooks on the second floor. You can rent them from the main desk or you can just get them online, like a lot of students do, or if you have a physical textbook, you can use that too. Um, textbooks, I typically rent my textbooks because I like the physical copies. I look at the textbooks, they're canvas, and then I come here and then I look for the book here. Students can access their class's textbook by checking them out at the library for two hours at a time. This is a great resource for those who are unable to acquire their textbook right away, or for students who want to work on their homework while at school. Where is the library located? The library is located right across from Fountain Hall next to the Humanities and Science building uh, to the left and then Technology building to the right. It's across from Fountain Hall. It's kind of in the center of Raider Walk. The library is located across from Fountain Hall on Raider Walk in between the HSS and Technology buildings. Do you like working in the library? Why or why not? I think it's, it's great. It's really convenient because I'm on campus a lot because I have mostly morning classes and then after that I have um, my shift. Um, so it's really convenient, I don't have to drive to work, and it's really flexible, so I love that. Um, and it's a, it's a great job in general, too. Um, I like it. There, there's a lot of different people I see, so it's nice to like see other people there, too. And then when I need to like focus, I'm able to work. And then I typically like get my headphones, too, and I like plug it into the computer so I can listen to music. That way I don't use my phone. And then I listen to music and work privately in those like little desks, so it's nice. Yeah, I like it. I love working in the library because I spend so much time up here studying anyways and there's a quiet level, there's a little bit noisier level, and then there's here where it's always a party. Thank you for watching this month's episode of Student Health 101. For more information about the library, you can visit their website at www.moreparkcollege.edu slash departments slash student dash services slash library or call at 805-378-1472. This is Rose Saban with Student Health 101. Stay healthy, Moore Park. <laughs>